Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a sweet upgrade to our camper. I am going to be adding a rear camera and side marker light cameras. So uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can buy these, uh, but Halo View is the company that makes these and they actually reached out to me and said, hey Brian, if uh, you're willing to do an installation video and a review on these, we'll send you all this stuff at no cost. So uh, the kit that I got is the RD7 kit, which comes with a backup camera. We do not have backup camera prep, so that's what this one is, is meant for. Uh, and it also comes with a wireless range extender, because if you do go over a certain amount of footage, you need that extender, and then it comes with a display. Uh, but they also sent me the side marker light cameras, which I'm super excited to use because when we pull our camper in on the side of our house uh, to get ready for our trips and do repairs and stuff like this, um, our gate is just under 10 feet wide and our camper is just over eight feet wide. So it's pretty difficult to navigate in here because we have kind of a you know narrow window on each side. But uh, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do this installation here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so we're on the back of our camper here and this is the light that I'm going to plug the power into. Now with our siding, if I push on it, I can tell that there is a gap between the metal and the actual wood. So I'm actually gonna put it just a little further down and there's not as much of a gap there. I'm gonna put some turnabond tape on here. So I'm just gonna clean this surface with some rubbing alcohol, to make sure that's nice and clean. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put down the, the turnabond tape. So what this is gonna do too, guys, if you guys don't know what this is, uh, this will ensure that when I put my screws through here that it's watertight and no water is going to get inside of the screw holes. All right, guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I have my bracket here uh, that's gonna go on my um, tape that I put on here. I'm gonna drill these holes, but this bracket needs to attach to this one. So I'm just gonna drill my holes, attach these two brackets, and then I'll install this bracket onto here. And then for these two brackets, you're gonna get a bag that has some self-tapping screws and then some smaller screws that have uh, nylon nuts on them. I am gonna put some thread locker on the threads to ensure that everything stays on here. All right, we got our holes pre-drilled. The bracket is connected with our Loctite. And one thing to make note of that's important is make sure wherever your wire is gonna go, where you're gonna feed the power, it goes. So we're gonna feed our power from here. We're gonna have that going up there. I think we're good. Um, I probably will hit this with some die core uh, or some type of sealant when I'm all done. Just make sure these screw heads are definitely good. I'm gonna keep this uh, a little loose just because I don't know how much I'm gonna need to adjust it. All right guys, so now that I have the camera installed, I need to get the power hooked up here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut around here because I do need to access and uh, get behind there. All right guys, so I have my light taken off here and then you can see we have these wire nuts with a crimp connector. I'm gonna take these off. All right, so I am gonna put a wire nut on these. The wire did come pre-soldered, so I probably will solder these, but I just want to test to make sure that it works first before I make a permanent connection. All right guys, so I got everything hooked up here. So the positive or the red wire is going to the wires with the green, and then the black wire is going to the uh, white wires. All right, so I just have the power temporarily hooked up to this because I just want to see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked up to this receiver part. This is going to plug in the camera as well as the power, which is going to run to the antenna. So now we're going to hook this up. 
to the extension cord. This is what hooks up the power in the back camera. So I have the transmitter towards the front of the camper and then here is our extension cord. And again, I'm just hooking this up just to make sure everything works. And then I'll do the permanent install. So here I am in the truck and here is the display. What's nice about the 12 volt connection is it has this little button here. So we're gonna turn this on. And we'll turn on our display here. Now in order to turn on the camera, I have them hooked up to our lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip on the camera or the uh, lights. Wow, and I didn't even have to pair it. Holy smokes, it came right up. Wow, that is cool. It has sound. I didn't even have to pair that. And it has sound. Very cool. So uh, everything is working now. So now it's just a matter of tidying everything up and making it a permanent setup. All right guys, so I took the plate off for the light and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole kinda in this bottom corner where this wire is gonna come out and then I'll, I'll uh, zip tie it to this other one that's gonna be coming up uh, from the camera. Before I put this all back together, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. All right, got all the sealant cleaned up around here. Put this back on. All right, guys, so here's what we have so far. So we got the camera installed. The hood is good, and uh, it's at the proper angle that I would like it to be set at. I have the wire coming out of the light here. I haven't sealed around this yet because I do have the marker cameras that I'm gonna put on, so I'll get the sealant out at the very end. I did zip tie these two wires together. It's the power wire and the camera wire. If I had moved my camera up a little bit more, um, I would have had a little bit longer of cable to where this would have sat more on the roof. But I think it's gonna be okay. I uh, just zip tied the heck out of it. And then they give you a ton of these straps. So um, I'm just gonna use my rubbing alcohol and clean uh, you know the little surfaces of the roof I'm gonna put this uh, 3M sticky tape down and then that'll just secure the wire. And then the antenna that transmits a single signal, I'm gonna have up front. So I do need to get that screwed in. So this little sticky tab goes there, push it down. And then this tab, you just slide it under here, comes up, pull it through, clips on right there. All right, so now we have our uh, antenna here. I am going to screw this in as well as put the uh, double side 3M tape on here too. All right, so here is what the roof looks like. So I got the decor around the transmitter. And then I have all these little snaps uh, versus having a coil of wire here. I just double backed it. And then I put uh, those snaps about every foot. So here's where it goes back. And the backup camera is right back there. All right, so here we go. I'm moving on to the side lights now. Here we go, so white to white. So the ground goes to the white wires and says on um, their ground. And then the positive is gonna go to the green. All right, so I got all the wires all good to go. I've tested it to make sure the lights turn on and the camera works, and it's all good. So I'm gonna feed those back in there. And then now I need to get these holes drilled. Just double checking everything on the inside here and it is looking good. We got the rear camera up top and then the driver's side on the left. That is looking really good. Just gotta do the passenger side and we are all set up. All right, so here is the finished product. Looks nice. 
go uh, turn on and check it out on the inside. Well, here is what it looks like all hooked up and everything. You got the rear view up top, the driver's side on the left, and the passenger side on the right. I think I'm going to kick the side cameras out just a hair, especially the passenger side. But now I think it's time to go for a ride around the block and then try to back in by myself uh, with the new cameras well there we go looking awesome as we're driving here that looks sweet just going down the neighborhood so here you can see on the sides here i can also see i'm actually in on the back there very nice well this is sweet i can see exactly how much room i have on the sides here beautiful i do need to get this bracket mounted uh for the display what's cool about this is you can actually bend these pieces so it fits the contour of your dashboard all right well i got everything all mounted here and what is nice you can adjust it so that you can tilt it uh towards you here but looks good all right guys well that wraps it up for the install uh overall it probably would take you about three to four hours to do this if you had to start from scratch like me. Uh, if you had the rear backup camera prep, that would make a huge difference and that would make things go a lot quicker for sure. But if you're starting from scratch like me, you know, I'd say plan three, maybe upwards of five hours uh, to install everything that I did. Thanks to Halo View for sending me the camera and everything for this video. I think we're really gonna enjoy this and it's gonna make backing up a lot easier, especially on the blind side. And uh, just, it's gonna be really good peace of mind to be able to see all around the camper as we're towing as well. So check out some of my other DIY projects. I do a lot of stuff like this to our camper. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.